Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name's Katie and today we're going to be doing a really large unboxing and unbagging of mystery Disney pins. So I ordered lots of boxes. I ordered four boxes from a gentleman off a Facebook pin trading group. I did intentionally choose two of the Seven Dwarves mystery packs because when we opened them previously, Kyle decided that he loved them. So we're going to give it a go and see if we can't um, get closer to completing that set. I wanted the 2018 mystery pack and then I told him to surprise me with one and I got It's a Small World. Wah, wah. Definitely not my first choice of like a surprise pin box, but uh, they're cute. And then I asked him to surprise me with a bag. This one that I don't have, I think this is the Disney collectible couple pins. Yeah, this is the couples. Then to make the surprise and the fun even bigger and better, I also have this package, which came today, yesterday, yesterday. And it is a brand new mystery pin set. I don't even think it is available at Walt Disney World yet. I paid a little extra to have it picked up uh, in Disneyland and shipped to me from California because I, I wanted it. Um, so this is a brand new pin set. So stick around to the end and we'll open this one together as well. All right, let's start with the seven dwarves because this is one that was intentional. We really hoped that we would get, uh, more to complete the set. Right now we have Sneezy and Grumpy uh, and you can watch that in the video. I'll link below of my February haul. I love mystery pins. All right, just like normal, we've got our two little blind bags. First mystery pin from the Seven Dwarves collection is... It is Dopey, and that's a pin we don't have. His jewels are red. They all have different jewel colors here, and this really fun accent because they all link together when you complete the set. So, one that we don't have. Second from this box... And that is Grumpy. Now we do have Grumpy already. Um, I opened him in a, another box. We've been trying kind of hard to complete this set. So good trader. These are really good quality pins, but we did get Grumpy again. Okay, second box. Let's see. So much fun. All right. It's happy. It's happy. This is a pin we don't have. Happy's a dwarf, right? Totally. Comment down below if I'm missing the mark, but I think that happy is a dwarf. One of them. And I think that's the pin that I just received. Ha! Huh. Very cool. New addition to the collection. Not one that we already own. All right, last pin in this set. For now, I'll have to order a couple more boxes just to see if we can complete it. We don't choose to <clears throat> complete a lot of sets, but this one stole our hearts. Um, more Kyle's than mine. He loved it. All right. Last up. Oh, Sleepy. Pretty, pretty good there for sure. That's what we don't have. Green accents. He's adorable. So uh, th only one that we already have this time around. We just got um, grumpy again. Getting closer to finishing that set. Couldn't be more excited. Next up, we'll do the It's a Small World collection. Again, this was the one I asked him to just sort of surprise me with. I, I like mystery, like on top of mystery, on top of mystery. Um, so there's that one. Your options here are all these different countries. I've seen this pin box opened before, and don't get me wrong, they're very cute. So I'll probably just try to trade these out to anybody that's looking to complete this set. Let's see here. Oh, okay. So that makes me a little nervous. One is indeed in a blind bag, and one is not. He's just floating around. His blind bag is on the floor. It literally, this this is the one that, this there, there's kind of a few on the floor right now, so I don't really know. This looks like it's the one it came in. It looks like it just came unsealed. Um, so, whatever. So we'll just look at him, because he's, he's jumped out of his skin. He's ready to be discovered. Oh, cool. Ah, I didn't, when I saw this on the box as an option, I thought it was just an option like, you know, it was just a circle that the different countries' children were like 
you know, gravitating around. Didn't know this pin itself was an option. Check that out. That's really actually pretty neat. Second one in this set that is still sealed. Fun. I, I, I'm not going to lie. I don't know exactly what all of these countries are supposed to represent. He's wearing a turban. Lots of blue colors going on. I don't I don't know exactly what country this would represent, as it could be a lot. Um, he's doing a little bit of a dance, and it looks like there are tulips behind him. Comment down below with what country this cute little dude doing a jig represents, because I'm curious to know. I needed that. <clears throat> Coffee. Cool mug, right, from my trip in October. I just liked the... Um, sort of drawing style and it's got all four of the parks it says Walt Disney World on the inside got some lipstick on it sorry all right back to business last mystery box we have is the 2018 edition pretty basic um options here 2018 with lots of different iconic Mickey or Disney characters I think I'd, of, of course, like to get Mickey and Minnie or Daisy and Donald. Those are my two favorite. I really do like the Chippendale in the hats, though. Uh, not my favorite characters of all time, but cute pin. All right. Ooh, I ripped that one. I'm getting strong. Okay, first pin. Oh, fun. Nice size pins. Didn't expect these pins to be quite this large. Um, that You can tell just against my palm that they're a very large size. And I did get Daisy. She, I love her colors. She's The bow that I received in my Magic at Your Door unboxing reminds me of like a Daisy bow because of the pink and purple. Really, really like this. Second, again, now that I've got Daisy, I'd obviously love to get Donald, but Mickey, Minnie, or Chippendale would not make me sad either. None of the pins are going to make me sad, but you know. Oh, Tinkerbell. Again, nice size pin. I love Peter Pan. You know that that's my favorite film. Granted, Tink is my least favorite character, but I still love to have it. So one more to put toward the set. I've decided I'm going to go ahead and collect this whole set. I really like the size of this. And I like um, that it will so this will sort of commemorate the year that I really got into pins and pin trading. And I've really been enjoying it um, since I started. So now is the mystery pin bag, the, mystery, the Disney couples mystery pin bag. So let's jump into that. Here is the front of this pin set, and here are your options on the back. Pretty standard Disney couples. I'd obviously love to have Peter and Tink, um, or Cinderella and Prince Charming. Maybe uh, Donald and Daisy are another good one. I'd love to get all of these. Robin and Maid Marian, that would be a real, um, Robin Hood and Maid Marian would be a really cool option too. Snip, 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 snip. Unlike the blind, unlike the mystery boxes, these aren't in blind bags. They're just floating around. So I'm just going to reach in, pull out my first pin. What have we got? This is from the Aristocats. I know that's Thomas O'Malley, the alley cat. Um, but I'm blanking right now on Mama Kitty's name from Aristocats. But that is the first couple pin that we received. Very cool. Second in the couples set. Yay, Donald and Daisy. One of my favorite couples, such a classic couple. I'm all about classic Disney. Cute, very cute. Nice size pins as well. Third one. Aladdin and Jasmine. Now, the only reason I don't love this pin is because I've grown up pretty jealous of Jasmine. I mentioned in one of my last unboxings that I had a pretty big crush on him. Um, so I'm kind of like back off a little bit. But the pin is shaped like the Taj Mahal. That's a cool detail. Pin number four. Who is it? Oh, Flynn Rider and Rapunzel. This is a fun pack. See, now I'm getting myself in trouble because I just want to collect all of this ser series now. Look at the detail in them. Her hair has got them all wound up. 
very cute. Last in this pouch. Whoa! <laughs> See? Love it. Okay. Peter and Tink. For the win, nice size square pin. When I saw this couple's pin pack, I was like, you know what? This would make it worth it. All the characters are cool. Very satisfied with this bag. Very satisfied. I definitely got a good one. Ooh, Peter and Tink. My Peter Pan collection is growing. And you'll see what I mean by the next video that I post. We're getting into the Peter Pan stuff pretty deep now, and I'm loving it. The sender was so nice to also send two open edition pins. He hit the nail on the head. He knows, I don't know how much he knew I loved Peter Pan, but he sent me this open edition pen. Actually, this is the third um, set of these. I purchased them myself and received them in pin mail twice now. So I'm going to add this to my trading collection. And this was really cool too. I don't know if this is Steamboat Willie or just Black and White Mickey. Comment down below if you've got any better ideas. But I thought it was very thoughtful for him to add some open edition pins. All right, guys, if you've stuck around this long, you are a champion. You love Disney pins and mystery pins just as much as I do. And now we're going to open this. The reason it wasn't going to be in this video, I didn't expect to receive it in time because it was coming from California. But it arrived just in time for me to include it. And again... Brand new mystery set. If it is available in Walt Disney World, it's only just now happened. Ready? Fun! It is. Dun, 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 dun. The Disney Princess handbag collections. Two of them. I would have bought more, but she only had two left by the time I was able to um, send her a message. So, super stoked. Okay, so here's what this packaging looks like. And on the back, here are your options. These are super cool. I can't, I think this is, I don't know, a lot of these are kind of obscure. Um, this is like the three fairy princesses or fairy godmothers. Thinking that's Mary Poppins, Minnie, Tink, Elsa, and Anna, uh, Aurora, Rapunzel. Snow White's is beautiful. All right, enough thinking. Let's get into these. These are so pretty. I don't really want to cut into it. I'm unaware of the quality and the size of these pins. I haven't seen an unboxing of them yet, and we're open and ready to see. So this moment right now will dictate whether I continue to buy more of these mystery packs. And comment down below if this is a mystery set that you're involved, interested in seeing more, um, more openings of. Number one, what shall it be? I think it's Minnie Mouse. It is. Yeah, so nice size pins here. I like it. So far, so good. Classic Disney is always my favorite. Really cool. Nice size. And now I'll, I'm going to open a couple more, pull out a couple more of these. Um, but so far, this is definitely seeming like a set that I want to keep investing in. Number two. The Three Fairy Godmothers from Sleeping Beauty, Flora, Fauna, and F... Wait. Blanking again. Flora, Fauna. Drop the third lady below. I feel bad for leaving her out. There they are. Very cute. The The detail here, the uh, across the strap, is a magic wand with a star. Really cute. Number three... Ah, so satisfied. Mary Poppins. Yes, I have officially decided I'm going to go ahead and try to get the rest of these. I like that the sizes differ and the shapes differ depending on the character. This is Mary Poppins. The detail is cool. Little parrot head. And it's not her carpet bag, which surprises me. It's the Jolly Holiday um, outfit. Jolly Holiday dress. So really like that they kind of switched it up there. Wouldn't have expected that. Hence, surprise pins. All right, number four. Gee, I cheated. I looked first. Very cool detail here. Alice in Wonderland. You can clearly see the handle to this bag is the Cheshire Cattail. And you've got some, her, the Queen of Hearts detail down here, the red and white roses. Super neat. Very cool. Last in this first bag, Tinkerbell. We're looking out with Tinkerbell today. She's not my favorite Peter Pan character, but she's still in that movie, so fan. 
Last bag of this video. It's gotten a little long. I apologize. I'm trying to move quickly and still enjoying the pins. Let's see what we get out of bag number two. Ooh, first up, a new one we have not received yet. Here is Aurora from Sleeping Beauty. Cool. This detail here, this is almost like the top of her dress with her crown. Neat. Pin number two, we've got to get a repeater at some point, right? Nope. A brand new one we don't have. Here is Tangled and Rapunzel's handbag. Wow, I can't believe the variety we were receiving. Little braided hair there. Can you see that detail? Flower crown handle. And you've got her, um, like, kind of symbol right there on the, on the middle. Cool. Next we've got, wow, another new one. Maleficent. Right? Yeah. Colors are awesome. Yeah, here's Maleficent's horns. You guys, we haven't gotten a single repeater in here. They've got, there's got to be one. There's no way we get 10 out of 16 pins on our first go. Yeah, we're still racking them up, guys. Brand new pin, Cinderella, I believe. Mark me if I'm, or correct me if I'm wrong there in the comments. But Cinderella, not a single double yet. Wow. Wow. The pin gods have heard my desire to collect it. And now I'm going to jinx myself. This one's going to be the last one. It's got to be a double. It is not a double. It is not. It is Jasmine. So we, my friends, just collected 10 out of 16 in two bags. Wow. I like that all of the handles are their hair. I just picked up on that. Cool. Cool. So we got, let's, let's just recap the luck here at the end of this video with these princess pins. Out of 16 pins, we got Mary Poppins, we got Minnie Mouse, we got the three fairy godmothers from Sleeping Beauty, we got Alice in Wonderland, we got Tink, we got Aurora, we got Rapunzel, Cinderella, Maleficent, and Jasmine. The only ones we didn't get are Ariel, Ursula, Snow White, Belle, and Elsa and Anna. And to be honest with you, Elsa and Anna would be would have been like my least wanted ones. Best unbagging ever there with those two princess handbags. Blown away, 10 out of 16 pins. Checked off the set. I'm going to order more as soon as I can get my hands on them. Thanks again so much, guys, for sticking through to the end of this video with me. And if you liked it, make sure to give it a big thumbs up so I know that you enjoyed this kind of content and I'll be able to produce more of it for you. Also, go ahead and subscribe if you haven't and hit that notification bell. Join this fun YouTube family and get alerts when I post new videos so you don't miss anything. New unboxings, new unbaggings, new vlogs, and other Disney content is coming your way very soon. I appreciate all of you so, so much for hanging out with me here today, and I'll see you again. Bye!